You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Jonathan Jackson. And my guests on the show this week are Township's very own park naturalist, Lauren Azuri and Patrick Injuries. Guys, I want to thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. I'm so glad to have both of you because, Lauren, you're a face we see often on the program. <laughs> you host our Minute with Nature <laughs> segment. But, Patrick, you are a new face I to am. West Bloomfield Park. So glad to have you. Uh, and uh, you. What, what, uh, what got you into becoming you know, part of this? I, I was just f so fortunate that this posting came up, and I've always, I always am excited and loved nature education and when this job opportunity came up I couldn't pass it by and then when I got the interview and got the position I was just so excited and was happy to join this team. Yes, so. yes. And the other thing too is it's good to have two because Lauren has so much work on her. You, know, <laughs> you have so much on your plate, honestly, every summer and every year basically. But uh, how great is it now to have a helping hand and to continue the parks program? Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, having expanding our nature staff and all of our programming. Uh, last year was the first year we offered a full uh, eight weeks of summer camp, and that was a lot um, <laughs> with along with all of our other offerings, right? I didn't yeah. want to pull back on anything else that we offer to adults, our family, and our community members during that camp time. So we decided in order to um, offer more to the community as well as continue our summer camp offerings that are nature-based, um, that we would need more people to do that. So Patrick's going to specialize in our summer camps this year, and I'll continue to teach throughout the community with our school groups as well as our um, evening and weekend programs. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, Patrick, are there any uh, any events or programs that you're really hoping uh, to get, be a part of coming up in the, new, in the year? In the year, I actually got my feet already wet oh, in the water nice. because we uh, no just pun intended. yeah no fun. Well, I, <laughs> on the splash. Pun That's right. Um, <laughs> we actually did a frog hike like last Friday, and frogs are one of my favorite species of animals. So I got to dive right in and uh, hear the frogs and help just get West Bloomfield residents and the greater area and residents around West Bloomfield to see what natural species we have. It's very funny that you mentioned that because just recently we aired the Vernal Pool segment of yes. Middle of Nature oh. that Lauren hosted and Vernal Pools as we know is could occur around this time of the mm -hmm. year and they have many amphibians within them and uh, Lauren is how great was it to see you know now that uh, the summer is coming and spring that what other episodes are you hoping to have for us on Middle of Nature? Yes well of course um, pollinators are a big buzz topic right now because of the decline in bee species so we're really all about educating people about why bees and butterflies are important. So we have an episode of that coming up as well. Um, but we also have some programs at the Nature Center um, about making your landscape better for yourself and animals too. So that would help with educating the public on that as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think also too, a big thing is bringing families involved in uh, these summer and spring activities that we're talking about. And uh, can you both talk a bit about that on what you're hoping to bring to the program in the spring and summer for families? Well, I think our main goal is always to um, expose people to something new that they might not have seen before in our in our area. So if it's be, be it a new vernal pool that they didn't know existed or um, a, a lake that they didn't know was there or the activities they could do there, it's exposing them to these opportunities within our community, but also obviously education. So environmental education is our main mission as naturalists and what we do and I think also getting parents comfortable taking their families outdoors so as you know in the digital age we get a lot of exposure to iPads and screens and that's great that those are important to have but it's really important to have unstructured time outside in nature as well and so giving families an opportunity for instance at our go fish program maybe mom and dad aren't comfortable taking their kid fishing because they don't know how to do it but we show them that one time and then they have a great experience and we hope that they want to do it again on their own mm -hmm. so not just our one-time events but that they bring it throughout to their families year on year and out. And there are so many places here in West Bloomfield where they can fish or where they can hike or mm -hmm. just even yeah. just enjoy the outdoors. Drake Sports Park, one of them, you know, a big event uh, as we're, we're getting around Easter time here. There's going to yeah. be an Easter egg hunt coming <laughs> up pretty soon, Our spring fling is quite popular <laughs> yeah. indeed. Yeah, exactly. we're actually, I believe, sold out at this point. So, oh. <laughs> so yes, it's a very well-loved event by the community and it is outdoors, so it's always fun to get people into our parks for different events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Marsh Bank Park, we love because of the, like you said, the fishing pier that's there as well as our dock. And we do lots of fun paddle programs programs in the summer there so some kayaking paddle boarding things like that that we'll be able to teach people as well now uh, Patrick can you talk to us a bit about what you enjoy most about being out in nature like is there an activity that you enjoy the most there's so many things that I like to do outside it's I can't even pin one yeah that's a tough question it is just going for a nature walk and like what I what lo what I love about this is the wonderment that you have when you look at things that you haven't seen before if you walk the trail so many times but you see one thing new yeah. and then even kayaking fishing I got my fishing license so I'm ready to go yeah, I'm wonderful. all set yeah I this is gotta, the time right? I know yeah, I just yeah. got to carve some time out and get some fishing in and then 
kayaking. Who doesn't like kayaking or canoeing? Yeah, or, yeah. I look forward to learning how to paddleboard. That's a new one for me. <laughs> so. All right, yeah. I'm Taking on some new challenges. Oh, yeah. 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 And Lauren, you have a two-year-old son you mentioned. I and, do, uh, yeah. And you're trying to get him outdoors. Is there anything you guys enjoy doing together? Well, we on any day that I have off, we always go outside because obviously, given what I do for a living, I'm a big um, proponent of practice what you preach, yeah, right? Exactly. So I can't He's going to grow up being outside. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's two, and he already knows how to sound like a chickadee. So he doesn't say, like, there's a bird. He says chickadee, robin. So already we got that down. Most kids out there. <laughs> so, yeah, we go on a lot of just um, open ended exploring nature walks. And I kind of let him lead, actually. So I've learned a thing or two on, like, oh, this is what kids are drawn to. So I know what to lead groups on that might be something I wouldn't have noticed as an adult. So it's kind of a whole new light being a mom and a naturalist at the same time. It's yeah. cool to see it through a kid's eyes, even in a different way. So Exactly. You get to see, like you said, that kid's perspective. Yeah. And uh, honestly, as exciting as it is to be outdoors, honestly, kids can f make their own way. You know, oh, they yeah. Can, he figures they can things out all the time. Yeah, yeah. They, they have their own fun outdoors. It's so. fun to watch their imaginations. Yeah. Even yeah. at all of our programs, the kids, what they come up with when we give them um, an activity, but then let them kind of make it their own. It's fun. Like camps are a lot like that. I think our summer camps, when you um, give them an idea or a game to start, and then they take it to a whole different level, that mm -hmm. that imagination really comes alive when they're outside. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, guys, I am so glad to have you on the show, and so glad Patrick, you came by too. That yeah. we're able to get the both of you on the program, <laughs> and uh, just show that the West Bloomfield Parks program is expanding, and it's so great to have two people now as naturalists, and hopefully see even more events and you know programs coming in the future. Definitely, so. we're yep. looking forward to providing lots more nature education, some more bigger special events. Now that we have two people that could help out, so yep. it's going to be an exciting time, definitely. Wonderful. Well, guys, thank you again, and uh, everyone watching at home, please, of course, visit West Bloomfield Parks, or you can go to their website online or you can watch other episodes of Midwin Nature starring Lauren and hopefully Patrick maybe in the future <laughs> at civiccentertv.com slash MWN. Guys, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99 or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.